system, Neil. That system is our enemy. When you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Who is it? This... This isn't the matrix. No. It's another training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. What are they? Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone and they are no one. We have survived by hiding from them, by running from them. But they are the gatekeepers. They are guarding all the doors, they are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, someone is going to have to fight them. Some. I won't lie to you, Neil. Every single man or woman who has stood their ground, everyone who has fought an agent has died. But where they have failed, you will succeed. Why? I've seen an agent punch through a concrete wall. Men have emptied entire clips of them and hit nothing but air. Yet their strength and their speed are still based in a world that is built on rules. Because of that, they will never be as strong or as fast as you can be. What are you trying to tell me? That I can dodge bullets? No, Neo. I'm trying to tell you that when you're ready, you won't have to. Activate the shave line, King. Yo, what up, fellas? How's everybody doing tonight, man? How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody doing good, man. I hope everybody doing good. You are it's now your man here to in the building, bro. Feeling like millions, bro. I cannot make this up, bro. This is how I feel, bro. Okay. I want y'all to understand, bro. This is how you going to feel, bro. I feel like this every single day, bro. Okay. And everywhere I seem to go, bro, it's like my energy is contagious, bro. Everywhere I go, I'm changing the outcome comes of what people are doing in their lives. I'm touching people, bro. I'm helping people out. I'm making people's day, bro. I'm giving people energy, bro, just from being in my presence, bro. All right. It's like something that you're going to have to experience, bro, to understand the level of which I'm trying to tell you, man. When I when they tell you Christ, a real Christ, bro, was this person who had this aura about them, okay? This this energy that every time this person would come around, okay, you are affecting people in a positive way. Bro, everywhere, bro, I cannot make it up. I know you guys sit here and be like, man, there's no way, bro. Listen, man, I don't need to come up here and make stuff up, okay? I'm doing this as a journal of my life, bro. So I can go back if I ever wanted to come back in my life or all my family members or people who really want to know me can understand what I went through. I'm trying to show you guys, man, this is the life, okay? There is no life better than this, bro, okay? Because I'm telling you, your mind's at peace, bro, all right? And things just seem to work out, man, okay? You really start listening to your inner voice. Yo, I got so many different things going on. I got so many different opportunities going, got going on in my life, bro. And it's like amazing. It's to the point where I don't really even want these types of opportunities. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, bro. But I'm at a point now in my life where I'm not chasing. And I, I don't ever really remember chasing money. I had my times, but I never been a big person that chased money. And now when I've turned my back for money, yo, it was just so crazy the way the universe works. So I'm sitting here today and I was just telling myself right before I left work, I said, bro, 
I'm getting all these opportunities to make more money and do all these different things. And I'm thinking to myself in my head, like, man, I don't even really want these opportunities. Like if I'm going to keep a buck with myself, I don't even really want these opportunities. I'm not about money. Okay. I had never been about money. There was a time when I was, you know, just right out of college, bro, where I started to feel like I needed to ch chase money for a little bit. And then I ended up learning a lesson. Might save that for another video one day and tell y'all a story. Okay. So I'm not chasing no money, bro. I, that's just not me. Okay. I'm not motivated by it. Meaning I'm not just going to go do something just because there's some money on the table. Usually I like to do things to help people. I like to see the looks on people's faces when I do something for them. I like to have that type of feedback. That's what fulfills me. That's what pays my soul. Okay. Money doesn't do that for me, man. Okay. So I'm not a type of person out here, bro, who is literally chasing the money and it's funny when you stop chasing the money bro all of a sudden the money starts to come chasing you i told you guys that you are the currency bro you are the currency bro okay don't get it twisted don't think that that paper money is a currency you are the currency you are the real energy money is not real Okay. Money is paper. You are an electric being. You are the currency. You make that money valuable. Okay. And when you go on retention, bro, I just started to notice, man, that you really care and you really respect and you really hold your value really high, bro. Okay. You're just not out here being like the normal person. I'm not out here tricking for no money. Nobody can't come up to me and try to throw some money at me, bro. Okay. And think that I'm going to change my character or change my destination or journey or switch up who I am for some money. I can't be bought. I cannot be bought, bro. Okay. I understand how energy works. I understand that I can attract what I want. So there's not someone who's going to come from the outside to try to offer me something, bro. Okay. And, and most of the time it's going to be money to try to offer me something to get me to switch up. It ain't going to work, bro. Okay. Cause most of the time what we're doing out here is we're exchanging our energy for people who don't have our best interests. They're using us. Okay. Jobs, boyfriends, girlfriends. Okay. Husband, wives, friends. Okay. It, it doesn't really matter that you're being used. It's just, you want to be used by people who respect you, people who reciprocate the energy back. Okay. We're here having a human experience. We're here to lend each other a hand. But what the worst part is, bro, the system has created, bro. Okay. A whole bunch of people out here that are stepping on each other for this little fake paper money, bro. When I told you that you are the currency. Okay. So I don't have that no more. I don't chase the money. And all of a sudden, bro, all these opportunities for money are coming into my life. And I'm looking at them like, bro, I don't even want them like that. Cause I know that's going to take more of my time, more of my energy away from my true purpose. I had to sit there and really identify that this is what I'm going to be going through. This is what I'm going to be facing on my retention journey. Okay. And you're going to be facing the same thing. I want you to understand this. You're going to be facing the same thing. So I'm turning these things down, right? And I'm already having this notion in my head, like, bro, I got to move this way. I got to be able to have enough ample time to do the things that fulfill me, the things that make me happy, the things that are contributing to my growth on my journey, okay? Which is my journal here on YouTube, which is going out in the in the public eye bro and being out in nature bro meeting new people making new connections bro not slaving away bro for a dollar okay that's just going to get taken away from me all right as soon as i end up depositing in the bank it's got to go somewhere <laughs> it's got to go here it's got to go there it's got to go everywhere bro i'm starting it's just coming from everywhere
rationalize that my time is very important and money is not going to dictate to that to me anymore. And I want you guys to understand that the longer you go on your retention journey, okay? And I mean this, some people will try to say no, no, because you're not even on retention journeys no more. These are people who will try to come up here and start some kind of conflicting argument are people who are not even currently retaining their seed. Okay, definitely not to high levels. Okay, because I'm telling you, you start to just release all of these materialistic attachments, bro. It's a detachment phase in your life where you start to see very clear on what is important in your life. Okay, and what you start to realize is you start to see that everybody out here is unhappy because everybody else can't sit and break down exactly what you do and make a plan to get themselves out of it. You see, we're all stuck not all but most are all stuck bro in that low vibrational frequency of lust bro okay they're all in their red chakras you can tell just from by how they dress how they talk the things that they consume the things that they watch okay the things that entertains them okay and it's a simple fact if they're in a relationship and they're having you know uh little ones right we all know Okay, does that symbolizes there's intimacy, there's intercourse, there's, you know, people in their lower red energy. And they wonder why that they're stuck in their lives. They wonder why they don't have a clear path, you know, to what it is that they want in life. And they don't understand that it all evolves around this. This is why this is so important, you guys. This is why I want you to understand, bro, the longer you go you're going to change bro you're going to change for the better man you are going on this journey bro to become the best version that you could be i'm gonna read something to you guys something really 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 quick okay i want you to listen bro to what is said in this article okay listen to this as mentioned in my two previous posts on this topic the colostrum oil or the sacred secretion Santa Claus and the Christ mass re-explain an immortal lesson and colostrum oil and immortal lesson is part of the process regeneration i.e immortality so what we're talking about right here in this write-up is if you retain your seed and this oil starts to redirect itself up to your spine, okay? This is where we start to tap in to something called immortality. Why? Because it's regeneration, okay? And if you do regeneration long enough, you can rebuild your whole body and who knows how far you could take it from there. So get this. Immortality within the post, it mentions the importance of saving this vital sacred oil and to waste it meant death, Christ's death. Let me read that one more time. It mentioned the importance of saving this vital sacred oil and to waste it meant death. And it has in parentheses, Christ's death. We know from the research that this vital colostrum oil from within the brain is found in the seminal fluid, sperm, semen of men. So saving it is necessary process for it to raise back up the spinal cord and into the brain. You know that sperm has a consciousness? Yes. A man's sperm supposed to go through his brain christ's resurrection christ's resurrection from which it came nevertheless like many things in life making the suggestion to a man to save his sacred semen is almost an impossible task we know this this is especially true today only because society teaches us to what you're right. Spank the monkey. We'd all like to go home. Hell, I'd like to go home and spank my monkey. In fact, I'm 
Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. And have sexual intercourse with the release of semen and telling us that it's actually healthy and necessary and good for our health. When in fact, this is simply not the truth. Like many things we have been lied to in order to justify abnormal behavior. So guys, this is all the proof that we need. We understand, bro, that there is absolutely no reason, bro, that one should be out here releasing his sexual life force energy. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys right now to come up with one positive thing right now. And I'm calling out all you cappers, I'm calling out all you fake coom, all you coomers, all you fake retainers. I want you to tell me right now from the standpoint of a man, name one positive benefit of releasing your seed. So Bill's in that medium sized waistband and that D size pouch. He's in our seven inch inseam modal boxer briefs, guys. This is 95% modal, 5% spandex, okay? So it's gonna be nice and cool to the skin, nice and soft to the skin as well. It is twice as soft as cotton and it, it comes from a beech tree fiber. So it's an organic material and it's pouch in the front is designed to give him a lot more room and lift, okay? You see there's two ways for the body to regulate temperature. Either the boys can move up and down or you can sweat. And when you sweat, guys, salt deposits all throughout the body. It's very uncomfortable. And you get that chafing there between the legs and you're sweating because it's very uncomfortable. You get that crotch rot, that swamp butt. Super, super chafy, hot, sticky situations, right? Your package is turning into like bat wings between the thighs because it's so chafed, okay? Name one. Name one positive benefit of releasing your seed. I bet you can't, but here's the funny thing that I can do. I can sit up here and tell you all the reasons on why, if you retain your seed, you, the benefits that you're going to get while you're thinking of that one positive benefit. Look at how long it's taking you. Yeah, the shit's kind of ridiculous. Hoes, get at me. Hey, I, I got the new booty talk 11. Raph, we're not watching. It's just coming from everywhere. Here. You ain't watching shit, all right? Hold on, bro. You get Look how long it's taking you. Come on, it's not that hard of a question, okay? Give me one. And while you're doing that, I'm going to give you some of the reasons on why you should be retaining your seed. Number one, you're going to have more energy. You're going to be less depressed. You're going to have more confidence. Oh, would you go figure more confident, Mr. Confidence sitting up here on the microphone. Every time I come up here, I tell you guys that I'm full of confidence. You're happier, less anxiety, increase social skills. You're highly motivated to succeed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Shave Lion King, bro. What did you just say? You are highly motivated to succeed. That means anything that you're doing, anything that you're focused on, bro, I don't care if you're trying to be the best, the best Paul Tekken 8 player on the net, bro. If you put your focus and your energy and retaining your sexual life force energy and redirect it to whatever you want in your life, my friends, I'm telling you, you going to master it. Okay. You are going to have this will, bro, this unstoppable will to succeed. You're highly motivated just to do more. Not only are you focused on your goals, bro. Okay. Like I told you guys last week, bro, I'm a multitasker. I got my hand in everything, bro. And I've never been able to have a balance like I have now. I'm out here juggling, bro, like a real dude in a, in a, in a circus, bro. I'm out here and I'm completing everything and I'm doing everything in a perfect balance. And this all came, guys. This all came, bro, from semen retention. I, bro, when I was not retaining my seed, bro, I had brain fog, bro. I couldn't focus on one thing, bro. I couldn't, I didn't have the ability, bro, to maintain on, you know, long term on whatever it is that I was doing, bro. 
because I would lose focus, man. Bro, you're so tapped in when you're retaining your seed, guys. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Listen, you can get increased fat loss. Bro, you guys wonder why I'm Mr. Thinned Out over here. I'm Mr. Bro, look, society done got us chasing images, bro. They got us out here, bro. We're all body disorders. Okay. We're all out here, bro. Chasing fake things that are not natural, bro. Okay. Like eating a whole lot of food and try to be big, which is not natural, bro. Anything that is natural, you're not going to have to maintain it. So if you're out there doing anything, bro, and you're sitting here, you know, <laughs> trying to become super swole, trying to do something ridiculous, bro, bro, if it, if you have to constantly do it, it's not natural, bro. Okay. That should tell you right there. And this is why I am now my body is looking the way it is now, bro. Cause I understand that. I understand I don't got to eat a lot of food. I understand, bro. I ain't got to do all these things, bro. And now because I'm retaining my seed and my testosterone is high, bro, bro, my body is chiseled out, bro. Okay. I can I know plenty of dudes in the community that I can holler out right now. Domino Spook, TC Talks. Okay. I can I can name a, a few dudes right now, bro. Okay. Who, who can testify to what it is that I'm saying, bro. Your, your testosterone is super high, bro. All right. That you're going to get trimmed up, bro. The fat is going to fall off of you. I promise that, bro. You're going to have an increased muscle growth, bro. You're going to have improved workouts, bro. <laughs> Come on now. What do you expect from that 45% increase in testosterone, bro, that you get right off the bat just by retaining a seed? And then if you keep retaining it, you're going to keep maintaining that, bro. You're going to be walking around looking like you on PEDs, bro. I'm telling you, this is, if you, if that's what you're about, if you really want to go hard in the gym, bro, I'm telling you what you can look like. I'm, I'm, I'm out of that stage of my life. Okay. But more power to everybody who's doing that. Because when I was in that stage, when I was on retention, bro, I was walking around here looking ridiculous. Okay. So I know anybody else who is retaining their seed are going to achieve the same thing. You're going to have improved sporting performance. We just talked about this the other night, bro. I'm trying to tell you anybody out there, if you're in high school right now, listen to my voice, bro. Retain your seed, bro. Start retaining your seed for up to 90 days, bro, while you're doing your athletic events and watch what happens. Watch the advantage that you have on everybody else, bro. Don't be one of these people out here, man, that start, in, you know, putting all these different chemicals in their body, bro, and end up having long-term effects. I know so many dudes, bro, who took them roids, bro, and that are messed up, bro, okay? I'm telling you, bro, I know dudes close friends of mine, bro, who done took them Roy's, bro, and they dang, dang, don't even work no more, bro. I'm telling you the truth, man. So if you guys want to keep messing around, all right, with all this unnatural stuff, bro, you're going to end up running into some consequences. Here's my other favorite thing that you get. You get a deeper voice, bro. For a time, I considered sparing the wretched little planet Cybertron. But now, you shall witness Listen to my voice, bro. I ain't never been a high pitched voice person, bro, but I ain't never had that Barry White, you know what I'm saying? You know, that, 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 that real, that real is toned and sexual type of deep bassy voice, bro. I never really had that, bro. And I started noticing, man, I, this, I swear on everything I love, bro. Once I hit that year of semen retention, bro, I started noticing my voice changing quick, bro. And now that I'm on two years, it got even deeper, bro. And I can only imagine what it's going to be like, you know, as I go long. I'm about to hit three years. Voice is probably about to hit a whole nother level. Who knows? Bro, your frequency changes. The tone of your voice changes, bro. When I tell you when you speak, when retainers speak, bro, it's people listen, bro. I'm telling you what it is, bro. All big time speakers, bro, all big time leaders, bro, were retainers. And when they spoke, people listen. I don't have to prove it. You get improved skin, bro. Thicker hair, bro. Increase hair growth, bro. I'm talking about facial hair, body hair, bro. Okay. You need less sleep when you're retaining your seed, bro. Okay. You got brighter eyes, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, your eyes glow, man. 
That's where you start to first notice the glow, bro, is in the eyes, bro. Okay. You got these twinkling eyes, bro. And, and women cannot help, bro, but coming up to you, bro, and just want to have a conversation, just look in your eyes, bro. I'm telling you, bro, I, I, I experienced this so much, man. You get clearer skin, bro. Improved body language. When I tell you, you walk around like a boss, you're a boss, bro. You walk in you walking in your natural form, bro. Okay. You walking around here, bro, like a man in his natural habitat, bro. Okay. You walking around here, bro, putting off all sorts of signals to the outside world, bro. I'm telling you, man, you are truly masculine, bro. When you are retaining your seed. Okay. You more alpha male behaviors. Okay. Increase attention from women, bro. More respect from men, bro. Improve memory, bro. Removal of brain fog, bro. Smarter. It's just coming from Hero. everywhere. I don't know about it. It's just coming from everywhere. I would definitely tell you you're gonna grow a whole lot of hair okay you're gonna have a whole lot of hair bro <laughs> i'm telling you you have a whole lot of hair bro and it's gonna be thick bro and it's gonna grow in bro man my hair is so thick bro i just you saw how long my hair was i just cut my hair bro and my hair was so thick, bro. And that's from you know from this whole time since I've been retaining because once I had you know got off my streak almost three years ago, I had barely had my hair head shaved. And since that point, I had let it grow all out. And then guess what, bro? What guess the number one thing that most of y'all gonna like, bro? You're gonna have better sex in the bed with your girl, bro. When I tell you, you turn into King Kong, bro. Bro, you, I'm not even trying to get any more explicit than that, bro. You're King Kong, bro. You're not one of these dudes out here, bro, who can't get up in something and not last. <laughs> bro, you're not one of these dudes, bro, okay? You've been retaining your seed. You know how to do your breath work. You know how to put your mind in a different place, bro. And you know when you want to release as a retainer. I told y'all, man, an hour plus, bro, after I came off of my last streak. This is what you're going to acquire, bro, the longer you go, okay? And definitely you're going to have some other things that attribute that phallus. We already talked about that as well you're going to be stronger bro okay you're going to have that higher sex drive bro you're going to have the control aggression this is one of those other things that i absolutely love bro the controlled aggression i don't care what you say you still might flash every now and then somebody could still you know do something to irritate you but what i promise you the last thing that you're going to act with and you're going to display is the aggression okay you're not going to be trying bro you're you're killing your ego slowly on uh, semen retention. You're doing it. Dude. Listen, everybody knows you're still a monster. Don't get it twisted, okay? But you've learned, you've learned to tone it down, bro. You've learned to transmute the energy, bro. You're putting it into more positive areas of your life, and it shows. You got this feeling, bro. You get this feeling, bro, of power, okay? I don't know what kind of power it is. I can't explain it. Everybody else's uh, definition of power is going to be their own, but I'm telling you, you got this feeling of power. I walk around like it, bro. I command it, bro. I This is what I put out to the world, bro, by dressing the part, by speaking how I want to be respected by others, okay? Bro, everything that I do, bro, I am manifesting, bro, okay? And in the outside world is receiving reciprocating and 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 you know giving me back that mirror that i want of the outside world and showing me man like i'm living the life that i'm making up and i can't i can't imagine man ever going back man and living that life bro of creating karma bro out here sleeping you know with girls you don't even like bro out here jumping in and out of relationships bro out here just doing low vibrational stuff bro my life bro i can't even i don't even want to go back and imagine what it used to be all i know now man is i'm happy where i'm at and i'm trying to tell you guys bro there's absolutely no reason bro that you can give me that you need to release your seed Everything that I've told you has been a positive. Now, if I sit here and think about it, I'm going to try to give you one, okay? I'm going to try to give you one off my dome. What's one positive, one positive benefits of releasing your seed? Hmm. The only one that I could think of, bro, and the one that popped in my head first is having a young one. 
is creating another uh, another life. That's the only positive benefit, okay, I could think of. But is that really a positive benefit? Because, you know, that's actually karma if you look at it in some ways. Because now you have to look out for this individual. You have to now, you know, put your journey on hold and now look up, look after this individual. And you you're going to you're going to go through a lot there's going to be a whole bunch of you know ups and downs now that you have to to worry about and you're not going to be able to focus on your life so i can't really look at an ultimate super positive reason why i should be releasing my seed feeling good is not a reason that's that means you ain't a man you're in your feelings <laughs> if you if you're concerned about feeling good as a man bro <laughs> <laughs> there's something wrong with you. You're probably playing with your booty hole. Okay. That, that any dude that's going to sit up here and says, uh, retaining my seed, man. And then releasing it, the benefit. Oh yeah. The positive benefit would be to, Oh, that's right. It'd feel good. No, it would not feel good, bro. We're not up here talking about it feels good feelings that leave that for the women, bro. As a man, you shouldn't be playing your cars in that deck, bro. You should not be pulling your cars out like that, man. You need to be retaining your seat as a man, bro. You need to keep your masculinity about you, bro. You need to understand, bro, that people in our past, our ancestors, bro, used to fast. They didn't used to eat no food. They used to retain their seed and they used to live for way longer than we live today, bro. And if you really want to know one of the top benefits that I fully believe that everybody needs to understand about semen retention is this, is that if you think about the nutrition that you get from retaining your seed, you think about the reabsorption. Think about, I want you to think about everything that's in it. Okay, we already we just talked about the colostrum. We know about everything that's in our seed. If you were to go on a fast, you could literally nur nourish your body, bro, and go months and possibly years without food. And this right here is the highest level, bro, of retention. Jesus Christ is an analogy for semen. There's a difference between regular sperm and mature sperm. And it takes 72 days for your sperm to mature. And you can look up 72 in Gematria and find out that it means Christ. Jesus represents sperm. That's why the manna reference, when he gives the people the manna, he says, I am the manna. And the manna keeps coming out of nowhere. It's replenishing because the manna was mature. It's the mitoic division of these that produce two types of cells. Type A cells replenish the stem cells and type B cells differentiate into primary spermicides. So they just, the process starts over. I know that once these sperm cells are mature, they continually multiply and reproduce, creating new stem cells. I'm never, releasing again you are okay. now they are not to touching me bro. SLK. i'm out here really focused on what it is that i want and like i told you guys man we have a mission to accomplish as men we have to bring masculinity back for real for real okay i want you guys to understand that we have to bring masculinity back for real for real do you understand that they've made a mockery of what men look like? Did you see what they did to the face of Alpha last night? They put his booty all up on Netflix for everybody to see. This is what they do in the masculinity. This is what they think about you coomers because there ain't no real men out here standing up, taking the lead and showing people how to really get it. And this is what we have to do. So I'm going to open up the line right now. I'll hopefully get a couple brothers to come in here real, real quick, man. All right. And drop they drop they knowledge on this retention, bro. You know how we do, man. You know how we do. And now that you know that we have the potential to take this to a whole nother level, you have the potential, bro, to regenerate. You have the potential, bro, to tap into things that these scientists can't even say that they've studied. 
This is what we have the potential. If you try to tell me that's not a whole lot on the table, bro, you need to wake up. So I'm going to drop this link real quick. Let's see if we can get a couple of brothers to jump in real quick. And then I'm going to read some of these comments. Will not Stage fail. Completed. Even if I must sacrifice my life, 